Artificial agents uh, increasingly help humans to make decisions. Algorithms help doctors to reach a diagnosis or judges to reach a verdict. Artificial intelligence uh, can be very helpful to make a good decision in the sense that it can be really fast. It can work on data sets that are very big that humans could not oversee by themselves. One example of that might be the use of AI assistance in medical imaging interpretation. So you may have a medical image from a CT scan or an MRI scan and at the moment it requires a huge amount of training for doctors to be able to interpret these images to make a correct diagnosis. So AI, which through machine learning has been trained to be able to say for example spot signs of cancer, um, can be used in conjunction with humans to come to a more accurate diagnosis. There's also a downside though to uh, the impact of AI on human decision making because it can also be biased. It makes choices based on the training it had with the help of data sets. And those data sets can be quite selective. Uh, so it's very important to be very open and to really know what kind of data sets were used to train the algorithm. If we have data uh, collected, for example, on who's more likely to commit crimes in certain areas, then that very well may be biased against certain groups if, for example, due to social inequality or social injustice, certain groups have been seen to commit more crimes than others, we could be feeding the AI with data which is already biased. In many ways, artificial intelligence systems are a reflection of society themselves because the data on which they train is a reflection of what that society is like. And because there have been biases in the past, um, if we're uncritical of how we build and use these systems, those biases very easily transfer onto these systems as well. When we're using AI, sometimes it's difficult to know exactly how an AI is working or exactly how it's coming to its conclusions. It could be the case that the AI makes decisions or interprets the situation in ways which are too uniform. So in medicine, there's often a body of different medical opinion between different doctors, which could be really valuable to have different opinions about how to proceed because one might turn out to be better than another in different contexts. So one danger of using AI is that we might prematurely shut down different options for exploration. I think it's really important to understand the limitations of these systems. Um, for instance, a couple of years ago we saw that a lot of people wanted to use artificial intelligence to solve hate speech. And the problem there was firstly that hate speech is not something that is legally known and agreed upon by everyone. It depends on context. And using AI in that kind of situation doesn't help because AI doesn't understand context the way humans do and it's not well equipped to deal with the problem that is you know, fundamentally quite a co complex problem of human nature. For instance, an AI system doesn't understand sadness, it doesn't understand empathy, it doesn't understand social nuance. And this has actually been shown through research that there's a racial bias with language algorithms because they understand certain types of English better than others. Which means that even if I was being hateful but I was using, you know, wonderful English, it probably wouldn't catch it. But if I was being completely innocent and using English that was a dialect, the, the chances of the algorithm them catching that are quite high. So one of the problems with that is that if somebody or a group is unfairly be seen to be engaging in what's labelled as hate speech, that might mean that they could have their views censored, they could have social media accounts banned or limited, so there are really large impacts and questions for justice and equity. And so keeping these in mind when we place these systems in various parts of our workflow and society is really, really important. Um, also ensuring that we have enough transparency and accountability mechanisms to ensure that we know who is in charge of the way in which a certain AI system performs and who we can appeal to if there is, you know, if, if there's a mistake made or if we're denied something wrongfully. Um, that is a missing part of the puzzle that I don't think we have as, at the moment. If you don't know that AI is part of what you're using, if you don't know the AI that's, for example, hidden in your smartphone, or if you have no control over how it's used, you might find that your life is being shaped by decisions about AI that have been made by other human beings. What is needed is transparency so that we can understand who is using AI, how they're using it, transparency in the AI so we can find out how the AI is coming to its decisions. And we need widespread education and debate about the way in which AI is already helping to control our lives. There's a lot of concern about AI making decisions for human beings, but it's always a human being who has decided to use the AI to make decisions. AI does not make decisions, we make decisions to use AI.